Hello and welcome back to our second week of Jumpstart, new kindergartners and new Bryant Hawks. I have some new and exciting things to talk about with you this week. And um, before I begin, I wanted to say welcome to Jumpstart week two. Exciting. So for week two, I have a little bit more of an introduction for you. Somebody who I talked about last week that I only showed for a couple seconds, but I wanted to tell you a little bit more about. Do you have some ideas on what I might be talking about? Hmm, who did I introduce last week that I only showed for a couple of seconds? I think you know who I'm talking about. Before we do that though, I also want to tell you we have some more tech tips, technology, Tech is short for technology. Ooh, that might be a new word for some parents. Technology. Hmm, let's say technology three times and point to your head when you say that word. Technology, technology, technology. Right, technology. And tech is short for technology. I have some new tech tips for us. That's in the next video and we'll get to that then. For now, my introduction, let's see if we can move my camera down. He's right here with me. Zeke, can you say hi to everybody? He's been sleeping on the table with me. Here, can you say hi? I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit. There we go. This is my friend Zeke. I have some fun videos and pictures that I'm gonna show you in just a second but I wanted to show him to you live so you could actually see him because he's gotten so big since I first got him. This is Zeke, he's four months old. And I told you last week, he is a polydactyl kitten. That means he has extra toes. I know, right? You have extra toes, huh? Oh, thank you. He loves giving kisses. Oh, that's so nice. But I wanted to show you, he has extra toes. You can kind of see, can you show off your toes? I have better pictures later. This right here, this little spot, sorry. Did I tickle your toes? That extra toe sticks out of his hand right here. And it looks like a mitten. So it's called, he's called a mitten polydactyl. So he has those extra toes and it helps him climb all over our apartment. Let me tell you, he loves to climb and I have some good videos that I'm going to show you later of him climbing all over the place. So I made a PowerPoint of all of pictures and videos of Zeke that I've gotten over the past couple of months. Well, not all of them because I take a lot, but some really good ones that I think you might find entertaining. Let's go to that right now. Hi everyone. I made a PowerPoint of pictures and videos of Zeke that I wanted to share with you. I'm in a different location today. I visited my parents' house and wanted to, or not. I'm in a different location today. I'm not in my kitchen. I'm at my parents' house and finished my PowerPoint here. So I got to make my video in our living room at home. Okay, so this is a PowerPoint about Zeke. Like I said, I have his name right here. You say, you spell it Z-E-K-E. -E. Zeke is his name. And underneath I wrote born March 20th, 2020. And he is four and a half months old. This is a picture of Zeke the very first day I got him and the very first picture I got of Zeke too. And this is a picture of me and my partner Andrew holding our kitten Zeke. Okay, let's begin. My first slide, oh, here, let's see if I can slide myself. Oh, there we go, slide myself into the middle. My first picture is of Zeke's mom. Her name is Noodles, and there's little Zeke when he was first born. And then over here is Zeke's mom and dad. There's Noodles, and Zeke's dad's name is Batman. <laughs> I thought they were very creative names. 
Okay, so those are Zeke's mom and dad. Oh, and I wanted to say, if they're, if I'm going too fast and you wanted to see any pictures um, longer, you can pause the video or go back on the video and pause, and then you can look at the pictures longer. So my next pictures are when Zeke wasn't home with me yet. He was at um, the house of the, uh, the family who has his mom and dad. This is Zeke and his little sister, Ninja. That was what they decided to name her, and they ended up keeping Ninja. Zeke is here in this picture, and there's his little sister, Ninja. There's my little Zeke. That was the first picture that they sent me of Zeke. And here's Zeke and little Ninja again. This is the first day I brought Zeke home. Move myself over so you can see. This is the very first picture, or very first video I got of Zeke. And I click it. Oh, there's little Zeke. He was very curious in the car ride home and very excited, actually. I thought he was going to be crying and very sad to leave his mom and dad, but he was actually very excited. There's little Zeke. And this picture right here, we got to go and meet, see my mom and sister. This is my little sister, Emma. And we got to go meet them in a park close by to where we ended up, where we got Zeke from. And they got to meet Zeke before we took him home. So there's my sister, Emma, and he fell asleep in her arms. It was so cute. And then here's the first picture of Zeke and I that I got when we were at that park with my family. And then here is, we'll show this picture. This picture up here is the first sleep that Zeke had. He fell asleep on my shoulder at home. He fell asleep with my sister here, but he fell asleep on me at home. This was Zeke trying to use the litter box, but it did not work. I don't know what he is doing. He is just a silly kitty. That's all I can say. It didn't work out very well. <laughs> This is him eating for the first time and drinking. I was very excited because he was comfortable enough to eat and drink right when we got home. And he's a good eater. He loves to eat. This is what we call the Zeke sleep. He is such a silly goose. He loves to sleep on his back. I don't know why. I don't know if that's comfortable. It seems to be because he loves to do it but I love taking pictures of him when he sleeps on his back because I think it's so funny. <laughs> so we call it the Zeke sleep. This is all the cuddles. My partner Andrew and I, we love to sleep with Zeke and cuddle and take naps. And there's us up there taking naps. I got two pictures of me taking naps with him, but he loves to snuggle and get pets. And um, he likes to also hold our hand with his paws. I love that in this picture. This is sometimes he'll even sleep on our back. He was playing around on my back in this video and then he fell asleep. I know, crazy. He's so cute. And here's Andrew petting Zeke. He loves neck pets so much. You can see up here Zeke is playing with um, a little mouse. He also loves playing on this right here is his favorite bed it's connected to the window so he can see out and i put this little feathery toy up here see oh he loves to play with that feather i put one on the other side because he loved it so much and i think he's already torn both of them apart now but <laughs> he loved them for a little while at least and then down here i'm gonna move my picture here he is learning how to pounce. This was like the second day we had him and he learned how to hide and then pounce. I don't know if I get the pounce in the video, but he definitely loves to sneak and hide behind things so he can't be seen. Yeah, I don't think he pounces, but. And this is one of his favorite toys. It's this big circle that has like a little ball that goes all the way around and it flashes and so he likes to hit it and then it comes right back to him <laughs> and then this picture or this video um this is one of his other favorite toys it's this long string and he loves um if i connect it to the bed or something so that he can uh tug on it and pull 
Okay. And this is one of his other favorite toys. It's this like teepee thing that has um, a couple of uh, hanging things coming off of it to so he can hit, which is what he's doing in this video. And also slide down. <laughs> but he loves to climb. This is when he was first learning how to climb, so he is still a little wobbly. But he got the ball, yay! This is the first time that he met my clownfish, Bonnie. They think, um, they, I think they find each other very interesting because every time I put Zeke by the fish tank, Bonnie swims right up and is trying to play with him. And you can see that Zeke, of course, wants to play with her. And then this is Zeke's ultimate favorite ball. He, I, I had to buy him like 10 more of these from Mud Bay because he is obsessed. And it's what he uses when he plays fetch. You can see I threw it to him. And then he's going to bring it right back because he wants to keep playing. Okay, let's see if I can. And here is the slide about his extra toes. If I move myself here, you can see I wrote extra toes. Here's some pictures. You can see his extra toe is right here. It makes that thumb. And it... He's called a mitten polydactyl because that extra finger makes it look like a mitten on his hands. And you can see his extra toe right here on his feet as well. There's his little extra thumb. And this is one of my favorite videos of him showing off his, his little fingers and toes. <laughs> he loves to play, like I said. He's so silly. He has all his little claws out because he's ready. <laughs> and this is him asleep, and I'm showing you his little toe. It's that extra thumb. He really likes his hands massaged. And here's our next slide. Here are some of Zeke's favorite things I wrote up here. Zeke's favorite things. This is a video of him. He also likes when I'm brushing my teeth and brushing my hair in the morning, he sits on the ground with me the whole time and gets ready with me. And like I said, he also loves paper. He will tear apart any paper I have in the house. He puts little tiny teeth marks in it and loves to put all of the little pieces everywhere. And then... This is another video of him chewing up all the paper that I thought was funny because of the ending of this video. There's a little surprise at the end that he loves. This is him chewing up some of my homework. I know, you, usually people say my dog ate my homework, but I can say Zeke ate my homework. Ah, he got me! I thought that was a funny video because he pounced on me at the end. He also loves watching TV. I know. This is him watching Zabumafu, which was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. He loves watching Zabumafu, anything with animals. And he also loves Spongebob. I know. I'm going to go over. And there he is on the ground watching Spongebob with us. He's so funny. These are some of his tricks. I'm going to turn up the volume really quick on my video so you can hear. Zeke sit. Good he knows how boy. to sit. That was a good Zeke sit. I'll do it one more time because it's a little quick. Zeke sit. Good boy. We taught him how to sit. And he also knows how to play fetch. Good boy. Ready? He could play fetch on, all can... day if he wanted to. Good boy. <laughs> he also loves to climb. I think I mentioned this last week, but I have to show you. He is up in our closet. He got all the way to the top of our closet. Climbed all the way up there. And at first when we found him up there, we were so scared because we had no clue how he got up there. And we didn't know how he was going to get back down. If we weren't there, we could pick him, we could pick him up and pull him down, but 
if we weren't there, we didn't know how he was going to get down. And then, of course, I was worrying about nothing because he immediately jumped down after that video all by himself. This is when he got all the way up to the very top of our closet. And now that is his favorite place to sleep. <laughs> oh, they're both going at the same time. And then this last video is another place that he likes to lay down and watch us anywhere from the house. Oh, maybe it's not going to work. There we go. He likes to sit up at the very top of this cabinet and watch whatever we do in the house. If it's cleaning, if it's um, playing board games or reading a book, he will sit up there and watch us doing it. <laughs> and just being cute, this is my last slide. I'm gonna put myself up here. This is when a couple of days after we first got him. This was pretty recently. He's gotten a lot bigger. He's just a cute cat. This picture is kind of sad because he hates when he gets put outside of the kitchen and I'm in there with the doors closed. But I think he's also really cute because he just sits out there and stares at me when I'm making videos for you all. <laughs> and he gets really mad. Now he knows how to meow really loud. And so he'll sit out there and go meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of my PowerPoint. I'm going to send you back to the rest of the video. But thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you would like to look at any of the pictures closer, you can by going um, rewinding the video and pressing pause. Okay, bye. Hello and welcome back. I hope you liked those pictures and videos of Zeke. He is somebody who is very, very important in my life and something. Before we end today, I want us to think about something or someone in your life that is very important to you. Think right now, take a second and think. Something or someone that is very important to you. Another thing that's very important to me is my teddy bear Theo, who I've had since I was born. So it could be something like an object, or it could be someone like your grandma, or your sister, or your next door neighbor, somebody or something that's important to you. I want you to think right now, think about who or what that thing could be. Okay, you can take more time to think about it if you want, or maybe you knew right away what that thing was. I want you to either draw a picture of that thing or if you would like you could make a video about that certain thing and explain why is that thing or someone important to you and then if you would like you can send it to me like some of my friends did um for the two truths and a fib or um you could um share it with a family member or somebody at home um i also wanted to tell you thank you so much for everyone who sent me your two truths and a fib. I had so much fun getting to know you at all. I learned about um, some students' favorite foods. I learned about some students who love to sing, who love to play dress up, who also don't like mushrooms like me, and lots of other fun likes and dislikes. Feel free to send me them still if you would like to. It doesn't have to be just the last week thing you can send them to me all during this next couple of weeks if you like. I would love to learn more about you. Okay, everyone, I will see you in just a sec for some technology or what did we learn the short way to say technology is? Right, some tech tips. Okay, I'll see you then. For now, bye.